what happens if you take a gun into an airport in Texas? In Texas, particularly after constitutional carry was passed, it is perfectly legal for you to take guns into unsecure areas in airports. So you could go up to pick someone up, drop someone off, and not have a problem with having a weapon on your person. However, you are not allowed to go into a secure area of the airport unless you have done certain things. So let's break that down a little bit. A secure area means attempting to go to where they're doing the security checkpoint or beyond that. If you're traveling with a gun, you need to have it unloaded in a hard case that's locked and you need to take it up to have it checked in as baggage. In other words, you cannot have a gun in something that you're gonna take in as a carry-on, something that you're taking past the security checkpoint. The TSA also has requirements about how ammunition is packaged if you're gonna take it through the airport, that it's in a safe container, generally with some sort of cardboard or other materials in there to keep anything from accidentally discharging. Also that magazines are generally empty and kept in a separate container. So you can travel with guns as long as you meet the TSA requirements to do so. However, you cannot go into that secure area. So what happens if you've forgotten that you have a handgun in your handbag and you attempt to go through the security checkpoint or you've actually made it into the airport? Well, that's a criminal offense. It can be a felony offense. It can also be filed as a misdemeanor. If you have a license to carry in Texas, the legislation has changed. The TSA or security personnel will have the opportunity, but not obligation, to simply ask you to turn around and take your weapon out of the airport. If you do not have a license to carry, then going through the security checkpoint or attempting to do so means you will be arrested. Even if everyone agrees that it was something you forgot and did not intentionally bring into the airport. From there, your case can be filed as a third degree felony. That is unlawful carry of a weapon in a prohibited place, or if the state leaves off the prohibited place allegation, they can file it as a class A misdemeanor of simply unlawful carry of a weapon. If you get arrested in the FW airport, you'll be taken to the very small DFW airport jail that's right there on airport property. You will wait to be seen by a magistrate. Now, it used to be that you could not get a bond set until you were physically transported to downtown Fort Worth and magistrated by a Tarrant County magistrate in person. DFW airport has recently changed so that we now have video magistration. So the magistrate can see you by teleconference and you don't spend an extra night in jail because you forgot a handgun at the airport. If you're arrested, you won't be released immediately. It's gonna take at least a few hours for you to be released. Most likely your travel plans will have been disrupted and you'll have a charge waiting for you when you get back. Potentially a felony, potentially a misdemeanor. Although ethically I can't guarantee you an outcome on what's gonna happen with your case, I can tell you every case like this that I've represented in the past, I've been able to successfully resolve without a conviction, without additional time in jail, and without a criminal penalty. Separate from all the criminal penalties that you're potentially gonna face, you will also get a letter from the TSA within months of your arrest. That letter will tell you that you have an administrative fine. Generally, that's in the few thousands of dollars, and they'll tell you if you call them and set up a payment immediately that you can often resolve that for half what they would otherwise charge you. When you get that letter, it is important to contact your attorney immediately. Oftentimes, if not in every case, we're able to call and negotiate a much lower settlement than they'll offer you through that letter. Understand the TSA has a huge range of potential penalties including a fine of up to $250,000. If you're arrested with a gun in the airport, it's important that you hire the right attorney, one who has experience handling these types of cases. This video was made in response to questions that we've received on this channel in the past. If you have a criminal question that you'd like for us to answer, just drop a comment below and we'll be happy to answer that in a future video.